Hello friends, welcome to another video by Material Welding. Today we are going to learn the types of welding power sources or you can say, the type of welding machines. This topic is very helpful for welding engineers, welding supervisors and welders as power sources type defines the welding quality. So let us start. The table here shows the three main types of welding power sources. The first one is welding transformer, second is welding rectifier and third one is switched mode power supply type. If you find the video useful, do like, share and subscribe. So let us start with transformer type. We are not going to display this transformer. Here a graphical representation of welding transformer symbol is shown. You will find this symbol on the name plate available on welding transformer. Here one means single phase and this is for alternating current or AC at input supply to transformer, and single phase. Alternating current is received at the output. With this example we can see that 120 volts and 30 ampere single phase alternating current is changed to 30 volts and 120 amperes using a simple transformer device. So basically a high voltage and low current is changed to low voltage and high current to minimize the electric shock hazard and suitability for the welding operation. The picture shows how a transformer type welding power source looks like. One way to identify is the multiple connector available on the front side. As there is no current adjustment controls, these different connectors are connected to the secondary wiring of the transformer. So when the number of secondary wiring turns varies, we get different output current for welding operation. Some type of welding transformer use a rotating handle for this purpose, as you can see in this picture. Next type is welding rectifier, here the symbol for the rectifier type welding power sources is shown for viewer learning. As we can see, an input supply of three phase alternating current is first reduced to low voltage and high current using a transformer and then rectified to direct current using a bridge rectifier. So, bridge rectifier is basically an arrangement of diodes, a choking device is used to smooth the output direct current for smoother welding operations. So rectifier basically consists of a transformer, a DC rectifying device, either a diode or thyristor for converting output AC to DC. The rectifier is less heavy than transformer due to reduced size of transformer. Moving to next, type of welding power sources which is switched mode power supply also called inverter-based welding machines. This is the symbol for such type of welding machines. The switched mode type power source it does not have any heavy size transformer because as we can see here input AC is first converted to DC using rectifying devices at the primary. So they are also called primary clocked power source. This diode current is then converted again to high frequency alternating current. This device output current and voltage can be easily programmed through the different waveform as we can see here this is AC waveform, this is DC waveform, this is high frequency alternating current waveform, this is rectified DC and this is rectified direct current which we normally get from a rectified device. The main advantage of this type of power source is that they can generate both alternating current and direct current for different type of welding operations. One example is we can use this power source for welding aluminum with AC current and we can use DC polarity for different welding carbon steel or other materials. These devices use sophisticated electronic panel, and they are very costly. Now let's compare three types of power sources. The table shows the main features and limitations of these power sources. If you see transformer, they have only AC output. Rectifier they have only DC output and the switch mode they are versatile. They can give AC, DC and different waveforms. Transformer are very bulky in size, rectifier are in middle of switch mode and transformer. With transformer, the output parameters are having only coarse control. In rectifier we can have a fine control and switch mode we can have a very fine tuning. Welding transformers are mostly used for shielded metal arc welding, rectifier are for versatile use. Transformer cost are very low while the switch mode are the costliest one. In transformer we do not have any control on output waveform. In rectifier we can rectify using a choke for a smooth thing only. While in switch mode we can program the waveforms for different purposes. So, I hope you have found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for regular updates on new video.